Trump Music was my first, uh, like my introduction record. It was a mixtape actually that we recorded in, in Gadsden, Alabama, and uh, had a record on there, um, Pop the Trump, that we shot a, uh, shot a video for, and then pretty much after that, um, things took off. So, you know, since then I've done a few studio albums, Radioactive and Love Story, and then Trial by Fire. In between doing uh, Radioactive and Love Story, I did Trump Music Returns, um, uh, which we put, uh, which we recorded a song called Tennessee Love, and that kind of like spawned the sound for uh, Love Story. It was just time, you know, I felt like it was time to get back to some, you know, 808 rap shit, you know, and just have fun with the, the hip hop side of it, you know, and just, you know, tipping the hat to the, to the, uh, the original, you know, record. Um, DJ Paul, 36 Mafia has been out helping me to produce it. Uh, Jim Johnson is helping me to produce it. And so the records are, are crazy. I'm really, really excited about it. So It's kind of cool how we're gonna be like side by side through all of this. And yeah, yeah. To release it. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the, um, the whole culture of like Harley Davidson and my family is pretty, it runs, runs deep, you know? My mom, of course, she had me on a bike, you know, when I was five sitting on the tank, you know? The smell, the sound, the look, so that's not normal, huh? huh? That's not normal. <laughs> that's that's how I grew up too. <laughs> Mine was like on an airboat. <laughs> so it's kind of funny how I met you. I went to your show in Jacksonville and then um, came up here in December and Jamie offered me the job. I was like, I'm gonna go get a tattoo. I'm gonna go um, check out Wolf Store. So I walk in here and you're like, hey, what are you doing here? I was like, I'm ready to get a tattoo. I just moved here. I accepted a job for Harley. You're like, no way. Yeah. We sat downstairs and shot the shit, and I was like, I want to work with you somehow, some way, and here we are. Yeah. So, yeah, so like, yeah, it's crazy how that happens. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, just how um, fate, you know? I, I've, I've been waiting for someone to knock on the door. I think it's like, it's, it's dope that you guys are the crew and, the, and, you know, the team that decided that it was a good idea. We love bikes. We support the, the culture. We do bike rides every year. Um, but having like a dealership to to co-sign it, like you guys, and that's that's what we've been hoping for and wanting to do. So thank right. you for yeah, you it know. Just, it seemed to go it. pretty hand in hand. Um, Jamie, you want to talk about the dealership a little bit in our culture? Well, yeah, you know, we want to work with people around us, and you right in town here, super cool. And we're trying to get younger guys like us on Harleys, because our dads grew up on them. Mm. Their dads had Harleys, but the next generation isn't always looking for Harley. So anything we can do to inspire this next generation and bring them to the dark side yeah. is what we're trying to do. So, um, <laughs> you know, Harley's trying to find yeah. out what to do and how to yeah. influence younger people. And we have a whole shop full of younger guys. I would say more than half my shop is millennials. Mm. And uh, getting them on Harleys, letting them ride, personalize their bikes, get them set up, and to see what everyone's picking out is pretty cool. With you guys down here and supporting the ride and the demographics you have is exactly what we're going after and where Harley's going. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize until I went to Sturgis for the first time what Harley's demographic is as of now. They invited us to come out there and they had like, kind of like a, a youth area <laughs> you know like they kind of like pushed us off over here in this area you know because i guess the average age out at sturges was like 60 and um mm -hmm. yeah we like we were all looking around like what like damn we we really didn't realize you know uh but it's true i think it's important to like i'm getting all my friends you know like they have to like Dude, no, you have to have a Harley. <laughs> right. Like you can't, well, that's you can't what we ride with us. <laughs> if you're on a Ducati, no offense, but you can't like ride with us, you know? <laughs> or you can get in the back, way back, you know? Um, you know, it's something about like uh, the look and the feel of nothing but Harleys and the sound. And, you know, I grew up skateboarding too. So, you know, it, it reminds me of a mob of us, you know, mobbing down Peachtree, Atlanta, you know, yeah. just 
plays in through traffic or whatever. Don't do that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're a lot different, but we're similar. You know, if I buy a truck, it's a Chevrolet. Yeah. If I ride a motorcycle, it's a Harley Davidson. Exactly. If I drink a beer, it's, it's American beer. <laughs> it's Budweiser. You know, I'm not gonna be <laughs> presents, but you know, I'm basically Chevrolet, Harley Davidson, Budweiser. Simple, America, nice and easy. America. <laughs> and so we came up with um, kind of a name for this build, and it's Music, um, Moonshine, and Motorcycle Build. And then Jamie came up with a brilliant line. It's American Made Tennessee Built. Um, so we're going to roll with that and um, we'll kind of see where that translates to. And I think it's kind of cool. It's yeah. going to come up with everything that we stand for, being American, and then... Yeah, right back here to Tennessee. Today. Still American made. Yeah, American yeah, I mean, made. <laughs> I like it. That's we your change it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my contribution. <laughs> Still American made, Tennessee built. I think that you know, collaborating with you and and to build this bike is gonna be beneficial for all of us, and we'll get to see your style and. And these guys are gonna put their input in, and we're gonna push you out of your comfort zone a little bit on the bike. I'm, I'm all something you haven't had yet. Perfect. My style, personally, and I'm chill, super chill on a bike. So I just chill, and I also like the look of a chill bike. I like the style. I ride a I ride a soft tail, and um, you know, you see my bike. It's Springer seat, 16 inch apes. It's old school, but it's it's. I, I kept it pretty simple. I had a Street Glide, a CBO that. I didn't change anything about the bike except for the aesthetics. I just painted it. I painted it and I put leather. I put leather around the, the hard bags that were there and put an added fringe and mm -hmm. that ended up on the cover of Hot Bike. And you haven't ridden a new um, Milwaukee bike, have you? No, I no. So I think the next step when you guys are available is to actually ride um, this bike. Like, I'm down. <laughs> yeah. I'm down. Lever's here, so we're good. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll have the trace at Lever's fork up. Yeah. Take I love the, the way new Harleys ride, man. Like, I mean, a stock Harley ride's great, you know? That's why I didn't change anything about the CBO, nothing. I just painted it and I didn't want to touch it. It was like, it was just perfect the way they put it out. So. The other thing that's super cool is once it, that this bike is done is you're going to lead the ride to Loretta Lens on it. And, um, and then ride up on stage and open up the whole four-day event, which I think is going to be pretty badass. We might need to get a couple okay. of those tires made. <laughs> we might need to do like a big burnout while we're there, and then we'll swap it out. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be awesome. Yeah, <laughs> stage burnout. And then after that event, we're going to have um, kind of a wrap-up session um, from Loretta Lynn's at our store, and then that will kick off your um, Slumfest ride. Um, and I think that a lot of our customers who may not have known about the ride will get involved this year. And then when you come back here for your party, um, that bike will be here. And we'll all be here to party with you. I'm going to end up buying this bike. <laughs> 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 so uh, good to so see take, it. take away the um, bike away. <laughs> you're like, it's going to be out your comfort Just zone. kidding. <laughs> I, I, I think you're going to like it better. No, I, I, I've, uh, I've only... Honestly, I've only ridden one sporty Harley, and that was uh, that was the electric bike that they. Oh, the live uh, yeah. It's yeah. coming yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, they they were demoing it, and I went and um, hopped on it. It was a lot of fun, uh, but that was the closest thing I've ever been to, you know, a sporty bike. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy it for sure. Maybe too much. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a fun to ride. I might have to take it home. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's awesome. Um, and then other than that, I think that people can follow this build on, you know, both of our social media sites and um, websites, and and we'll have, like, a video series that mm -hmm. documents it all, and then photos and videos, and we're kind of teaming up um, to go along with your album release. Killer. And uh, it's going to be pretty fun. I'm looking forward to it. Just, yep. Well, I Amazing. Think, I think it's time to get going. Cool. Get the build started. Sure. I'm oh, stoked. Yeah. Me too. It's gonna be fun. Let's yep. get it. All right, awesome. Tennessee music and motorcycle revival coming for you soon. It's American made, baby. <laughs> <laughs>